I decided I wanted to take it back. I think it was 2022 or maybe 2020. I don't know. One of those years I used to do cooking with me's. So I would cook and talk about different topics and it was super fun. You know, I didn't have the best lighting. My audio was kind of weird, but I really enjoy doing it. So to change things up a bit, I am doing a Get Cooking With Me 2024 edition. And today I'm making meatless pasta because we're not eating meat right now. And I'm sharing my thoughts on love, you know, what I feel about love so far in my life and, you know, the little gems that I've learned about love thus far. So if you're interested in hearing my thoughts, keep watching. <laughs> We're sitting on a pot right now, so if you're a little shaky, I'm so sorry. So I honestly don't know what I'm doing. How do I make this? Boil water in a large pot, add salt and pasta, cook for six minutes, drain and serve. So we're gonna get this going. I'm supposed to be making spaghetti and I picked up linguine, but it looks more healthy um, and it's less ingredients. Organic wheat, semolina, and water simple ingredient so i picked it up and then i picked up this michael's of brooklyn fresh tomato and basil sauce i like the ingredients and initially i was going to do like a homemade tomato sauce but i didn't feel like it this has simple ingredients tomatoes fresh basil fresh garlic italian olive oil spices fresh parsley and nothing else they literally ooh, they literally say nothing else can you see that i like that simple ingredients we don't need the extra i'm gonna boil the water put this in there let it cook for some time then add the sauce and yeah i actually have an onion so i might saute some onion and some garlic and then sprinkle this in it just so i can like season the sauce myself because um you know we just don't take the sauce and put it in the in the food we gotta season it even if it's already seasoned, so I'm gonna do that. Just like the water. Did you hear that? That was crazy. I'm actually gonna put Celtic salt inside my water. It's healthy, it has a whole bunch of minerals in it, so. I'm gonna get this to boil. Okay, let's start talking. Let's get into business. So what has love taught me so far? I think love has taught me that it's a choice. Like you can choose to love someone. And a lot of us think like, oh, it's something that takes over our body and it's uncontrollable. And you know, I don't think like that anymore. I think I've wisened up because you know i've i've loved people i loved a couple people and i realized like maybe initially i didn't choose to love them i might have fallen in love but then at a certain point in order for that relationship to keep going and to be successful you have to like intentionally decide like you're my person i'm gonna lock in with you we're gonna do this forever and i think for females at least, for women at least, like we have this like candy land, you know, love story type of idea of love, even into our older ages. And we have to unlearn that because once we stop feeling a certain thing, after it stops feeling like gumdrops and, you know, candy land, like I said, we just decide, what is that? Oh, maybe a balloon. Okay, yeah. We just decide, like, okay, this person is not for me. And listen, with all that being said, I don't believe love should be hard and, like, something that you gotta survive. I think it should be something that uh, develops you. It makes you a better person. It makes you, you know, see different parts of yourself. It makes you just, like, evolve. For the most part, it's a pleasant situation. It should not be hard. I definitely don't think that. But I also think like we have to realize this is real life. You're dealing with real people with real emotions. And sometimes the person that she once fell in love with, they're still like learning themselves. They're still trying to figure out life. And we got to give, you know, that person grace. We can't just like fall out of love with them because they're not making us feel, you know, like, I don't know, like that little 
tingly feeling that we used to get back in the day. I'm sure that, that that feeling comes in waves. At one point you might love them like that and another point it's just like you're coasting. But I think once we start feeling those like jittery feelings and like so stupid in love, we think we have to quit. And I'm learning that that's not, that's not good, you know? I think it might be a defense me mechanism to just quit when it stops feeling good or feeling like a fairy tale. Like love is beautiful. Love can start out like a fairy tale. Love can be a fairy tale in a way, but during those like little, not rough patches, but in those patches where you gotta just develop and evolve, it's not gonna always be pretty. And if you really love somebody, you'll stick beside them during those times. What love is teaching me is that certain people are worth that extra care, that extra love, that extra patience that is required for a lasting relationship and some people aren't and it's like up to you to to either stick it in there or let it go and like I said I've had a couple experiences with love and because I'm single now it, it, I'm, it's probably giving you the idea like it's not worth it. If both parties are down to stick it out and really grow together and evolve and be patient with each other through the hills and valleys i think it can be something so beautiful i think love is so precious and it makes the world go round and to really have genuine love these days is like it's so beautiful and like i said i've experienced love a couple times and both of those loves were different i had like a childlike love and i had a more mature love like an unexpected love and it brought out different sides of me. And it was beautiful. It was beautiful for such a good time. Like even now, even despite me not having relationships with those people anymore, I value them so much because while it was good, it was so good. Like I've learned so much about them, about myself, about life. You know how they say like certain people give the world more color. They made the world more colorful. My world is already colorful. It's already like, everything but you know having love having love for someone and having a romantic you know relationship just makes life more gentle more worth living <laughs> having a relationship in general is just beautiful oh my my ling my linguini water is ready what has love taught me love is a gift love is such a gift I think why you're not in love with someone, you value it so much more. Like looking at my past loves, I can like respect it and value it so much more that I'm not in it. It's a gift. It's really a gift. And honestly, I don't know if everybody gets that gift in their lifetime. You know, I'm, I'm seeing like women that are like older and they may not even had a boyfriend before or, you know, had a romantic partner. And I, I didn't even realize that was... Not even possible. I, I just thought like I thought that maybe people twenty plus may not have experienced like a grown up relationship. But the fact that like no one even had that type of puppy love while they were younger, some people have experienced that, and that's crazy to think, you know. And that's why I think like love is a gift. It's certain things that people get to experience, and certain people don't. And it's not because they're less less valuable. It's just because like for me the gift of having a child. I personally don't see that for myself. Like I don't really want children at this point in time of my life, but it's a beautiful thing. It's such a gift, it's so beautiful. And my life is still gonna be full and amazing, even despite me not having that gift. So for some people, romantic love may not be a part of their story. And I still think it's possible for them to have a very fulfilled life. You know, you can love people in other ways, platonic ways, have girlfriends, you know, have family love. You don't have to have romantic love. It's a gift. It's really beautiful. And to have it is, 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 is an amazing thing. And I appreciate the people that made room for my heart to feel in that way because you know, I'm a tough girl. You know, I'm a, I'm a tough girl. For them to like be patient and caring and just a joy, I appreciate that. And I, I can like wholeheartedly hope for them to have that again sometime in their futures because that's another thing. I also believe that you can love 
multiple people it's not like you're gonna have a one true love i feel like you can have multiple loves you can love people for different reasons and in different ways it's not like oh i meet this one person and then i love him and then once it's over it's done like i can never love anybody else no you can love several people and i pray they have amazing loves and i pray that one day i find love again you know because i want i love love you know i love love i do it takes a certain vulnerability that i think we are definitely straying away from because people don't value that vulnerability these days like people take advantage people manipulate people abuse but once you find something that's true something that's something that's genuine i think it's worth giving it a shot and really like loving hard so i can't wait to love hard and if you've ever experienced that you know exactly what i'm talking about love is so beautiful when it's pure it's like dang it's like a drug i always say that like love is a drug and that's why everybody's losing their mind over it <laughs> hold on let me put my pasta inside my water speaking of love being a drug right i think once you're like hooked on it and then it turns bad sometimes you're so stuck in the sauce that you don't even realize it's now bad it's not healthy for me it's not it's not evolving me it's not growing me it's not making me a better person it's actually bringing out the worst in me it comes to a point for a lot of us where that becomes like the situation like something so beautiful something so pure can get so ugly so quick and that's why love is such a weird thing like when it's good it's good but when that thing turns you have to be so aware so that it doesn't make the worst of you like it doesn't drive you crazy and i think that's the caveat with being in love like as much as you should invite it and be open to it you also have to realize this thing can get ugly this thing can turn sour as much as you want to be deep into it and really feel that thing you need to check yourself when you realize like this is not bringing out the good in me this is no longer healthy i feel bad i feel unworthy i feel low i feel whatever the bad feelings that you're getting from that now you need to be aware so that you can pull yourself out as much as i think love is a good thing i don't think it's ever worth losing yourself and in fact that love that you have for yourself is worth more than any romantic love you could possibly have in this lifetime i've loved i've been loved i've fallen in love and, and i've fallen out of love so i know those emotions but there's no greater feeling and there's no greater life than really valuing yourself and and choosing you over anybody so yeah you might have memories with this person and yeah once upon a time it was beautiful it was just so genuine and pure but that moment you feel like you're getting lost in the sauce and that person doesn't value you like they used to you have to go you can't hold on to memories and memories is a b e it's a b memories are a b you're imagining this person you were there that person was there that is a person that you are in love with or the person that it's that's in front of you is someone totally different and you gotta like really delete that view delete those memories out your mind and really just be in reality is this person that's looking you in your face right now is he loving on you correctly is she loving on you correctly does she value the person that you are does he or she value the person that you're becoming Check yourself. It's never worth losing you. Because when you're lost and gone, that person is going to be on their way to the next person, living their life, not even caring that you're out here just sad, destroyed. Your life is going to continue. No matter how much they once upon a time loved you, they're going to be fine. So you got to be making sure that you put yourself first so nobody can just go away and leave you just lost in the sauce. So love deeply, but snap out of it real quick when you need to snap out of it, you know? Love. That thing is something. Because what is meant for you will never leave you. Everything that you think is going to happen is not going to happen. It'll be the opposite. Never lose sight of why you are who you are. The reason people are into you is because of something you have in you. Don't ever let go of that, ever. Sometimes loneliness is the only rest we get. Sometimes emptiness actually lets us forget. Yes. And sometimes forgiveness is easier than secret. Which and stability. But I can I don't have to expect someone else to give me stability. I can also be stable for myself.
So it's a mess in here as you can see, but we finished the spaghetti. <laughs> this is how it came out. It looks good, you can see it. Ooh, it's meatless. We're gonna give it a try to see how it tastes. And since I'm eating this by myself, I'm gonna eat from the pot. Hmm. It's good, it's good. I think because the Parmesan is so like, you know how Parmesan has that like salty taste kind of? I probably could have eased up on my seasoning, my other seasonings because of the Parmesan, but it tastes really good. It does, it does taste good. But anyways, that's my, you know, little meatless spaghetti. And those are my thoughts about love so far. I kind of was like in a daze because I was like really thinking back to like my personal um, love life. Love is a beautiful thing. Despite any bad things that come with it, I feel like it's all character development and you know, it's like something that you just keep going back to. You know how hard it can like feel when it's bad, but when it's good, I think it's so worth being in it. So um, yeah, let me know how you feel about love, how you're feeling with this whole, you know, Valentine's Day coming up, what you're gonna do, are you in love, are you out of love, like where, where are you, where, what's your head at when it comes to love? I wanna. You know, really talk about it because I don't talk about that on this channel. But if we're being honest, that's a part of the whole learning, creating, and evolving. We got to, you know, touch on the things that kind of are sore. And love for me is like a little sore place. But I know one day it's going to be something so worth waiting for, being patient about, and, you know, being vulnerable for it. But until then, I'm going to just, you know work on myself and value myself and love on myself and get to know myself better so that I can be that for someone else one day. And if that never happens, like I said, love is a gift. If love doesn't find me again, I'm gonna be totally okay because I have that love for myself. And I hope you do too, whether you have a love or not, whether you have somebody or not. But yeah, thank you so much for, you know, cooking with me. I do appreciate it. Please remember, this is a channel where we learn, create, and most importantly, evolve. My name is Katrina Nicole Ivy, and thank you so much for watching. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.